today's project is all about restoring habitat for small mammals. And not many people are aware that small mammals still exist here in the Cumberland Plain. Um, they exist at their peril, there's not many of them left. Um, they're close to extinction and um, we saw a need, um, a need to provide um, opportunity for them. So today's project was about restoring logs, um, which is their primary habitat in woodlands areas. So the small mammals, our target species for today was um, the little antichinus and the bogle. So these are two uh, little marsupials that uh, need uh, hollow logs to be able to set up home, uh, to be able to uh, get themselves away from danger, uh, to be able to survive a bushfire. So, you know, they need somewhere to run, in, you know, when the wildfires come through. And, and I guess um, that was one of the reasons why we're returning these logs is there's so few left on the Cumberland Plain and there's many reasons for that. Uh, one of, of course, the, one of the first reasons is we've cleared the Cumberland Plain. We've, we've cleared almost all of the vegetation. In fact, 95% is now gone. And uh, we've used um, we've used the logs that were left on the ground for, fi for firewood, and um, we've also had um, you know in situations whereby any logs that might have remained in that nature reserves like Mulgoa have been have been burnt through uh, wildfire. So so in essence, these these little fellas had nowhere to go, and of course their, their numbers have declined severely. We've had the generous support of Sydney Helicopters, which have provided uh, helicopter time, pilots, ground crew and equipment to actually lift these logs into these fairly remote areas of Mulgoa Nature Reserve, areas that you, it's really quite difficult to get a, a truck laden with logs into here without actually disturbing the environment uh, to quite an extent. So, so the helicopters were needed as, as part of, of um, walking lightly or treading lightly on the planet and making sure that we don't disturb other aspects of the Nature Reserve whilst trying to achieve our goal. But also people like the Wern family who have harvested these logs which would have been otherwise turned into wood chip. Um, they've been harvested from a site down at Marsden Park which was um, being cleared for residential subdivision. So instead of turning them into wood chip for someone's garden they've become habitat for vanishing wildlife of the Cumberland Plain. So um, great gesture, it's involved trucking these logs 30 kilometres across Sydney. Uh, it's involved um, taking the bark off taking the roots and the leaves off so that we don't introduce um, any sort of viruses or funguses that might have been down that way. We've had to make sure that they're biosecurity checked uh, to ensure that we're not introducing anything bad into this part of uh, Mulgoa Nature Reserve. So, so it's, you know, they were there this morning with their uh, forklifts and their chainsaws and just making sure that the logs were the, the right sizes for the helicopter to shift. So, so it's been a lot of teamwork. Uh, we've talked about it for about a year. We've had meetings, we've had emails, we've had phone calls, but finally today, the day, and, and we've got the logs in here. So in 12 months time, we'll be um, installing some little hidden video cameras that are uh, movement activated. So um, we might have some good news uh, in 12 months time when we can actually just observe and see if these uh, little creatures have made up, uh, made homes in these logs. So yeah.